levels of organization. Our body is an amazing wonder of the world. It is much more complex and complicated than it is thought to be. It is made up of different organs and organ systems. But how does it work? How do all of the different components come together to keep us alive, keep us functioning, and achieve our goals? That's what levels of organization is related to. In this video, we are going to look at the levels of organization in organisms from smaller than cells to bigger than organs. Subatomic level. The journey towards life begins through subatomic particles. Most stable subatomic particles are electrons, protons, and neutrons. Electron has negative charge, proton has positive, while neutron has no charge. Atomic level. These subparticles combine in particular way that protons and neutron lie in central position giving rise to dense central nucleus with positive charge while negative charged electrons revolve around nucleus, forming atom. We can define atom as smallest electrically neutral particle of an element that cannot exist in free state. Elemental level. Similar atoms combine and form element. Element is defined as a substance whose all the atoms of the same atomic number. Out of the 92 kinds of elements that occur in nature, 16 are called bio elements. Out of these bio elements, only 6 oxygen, nitrogen, calcium, phosphorus, hydrogen, carbon make 99% of the total mass. Other 10 Potassium, sulfur, chlorine, sodium, magnesium, iron, copper, manganese, zinc, and iodine collectively make 1% of the total mass. Easy way to remember bioelements is for major bioelements, one normal cap have pearl chain, and for minor bioelements, cash if mnemonically identify zinc up, saved naughty clever magician fellow. Molecular level. Bioelements usually do not occur in isolated forms, rather, they combine through ionic or covalent bonding, forming stable particle called molecule or biomolecule. Biomolecules are classified as micromolecules and macromolecules. Micromolecules are with low molecular weight. Examples are glucose, water, and macromolecules are with high molecular weight. For example, starch, proteins, lipids. Organelle level. Biomolecules assemble in a particular way and form organelles. Organelles are defined as subcellular structures that assemble together to form cells, units of life. Cellular level. A cell is the basic unit of life that consists of well-assembled and well-organized organelles. Each type of organelle is specialized to perform a specific function. For example, mitochondria are specialized for cellular respiration, and ribosomes are specialized for protein synthesis. Thus, within the cell, there is a division of labor. The journey of levels of organization of unicellular organisms, that are prokaryotes, and most protists, ends here, because the entire organism consists of a single cell. However, in multicellular organisms, that are most fungi, all animals, and all plants, the organism consists of up to trillions of cells, so the journey still continues. Tissue level. Similar cells, performing similar functions, are organized into groups, called tissues. Tissue can be defined as a group of similar cells specialized for the performance of a common function. Each cell in a tissue carries on its own life processes, like cellular respiration, protein synthesis, but it also carries on some special processes related to the function of the tissue. 
There are different types of plant tissues that are epidermal tissue, ground tissue, etc. Animal tissues are also of different types for example, nervous tissue, muscular tissues etc. Organ level In higher multicellular organisms, more than one type of tissue having related functions are organized together, and make a unit, called organ. Different tissues of an organ perform their specific functions, and these functions collectively become the function or functions of that organ. For example, stomach is an organ, specialized for the digestion of proteins, and for storing food. Two major types of tissue, are present in its structure. Epithelial that are glandular tissue, secretes gastric juice for the digestion of proteins. Muscular tissue performs contractions of stomach walls for grinding of food, and moving food to posterior end. So, two tissues perform their specific functions, which collectively become, the function of stomach. Organ system level Different organs, performing related functions are organized together, in the form of an organ system. In an organ system, each organ carries out its specific function, and the functions of all organs, appear as, the function of the organ system. Examples of organ systems are, integumentary system, skeletal system, muscular system, respiratory system, digestive system, urinary system, circulatory system, nervous system, endocrine system, reproductive system, etc. The organ system level is less complex in plants, as compared to animals. This is due to a greater range of functions, and activities in animals, than in plants. Individual level Different organs, and organ systems, are organized together to form, an individual or organism. In organism, the functions, processes, and activities of various organs, and organ systems, are coordinated. For example, when a man is engaged in continuous, and hard exercise, not only his muscles are working, but also there is an increase in the rate of respiration and heartbeat. This accelerated rate of respiration, and heartbeat supplies more oxygen, and food to the muscles, which they need for continuous work. Population level Population level is the study of interactions, among the members, of the same species living in the same habitat. A population is defined as, a group of organisms of the same species located at the same place, in the same time. For example, human population in Pakistan in 2010 comprises of 173.5 million individuals. Community level A community, is an assemblage of different populations, interacting with one another, within the same environment. A forest, may be considered as a community. It includes, different plant, microorganisms, fungi, and animal species. Communities, are collections of organisms, in which, one population may increase, and others may decrease. Communities may be complex, or simple. In complex communities, number and size of populations is not restricted. For example, a forest community, a pond community, etc. Other communities may be simple, in which, number and size of populations is limited. Example of simple community is, fallen log, with various populations under it. Change in biotic, or abiotic factors, may have drastic and long-lasting effects, on communities. Ecosystem level Ecosystems include, more than a community of living organisms, biotic, interacting with the environment, abiotic. Ecosystems, vary in size, climate, and components, 
but every ecosystem is an independent functioning unit of nature. Every living organism in an ecosystem depends wholly on the components of its ecosystem. When a component of an ecosystem is damaged or lost, the ecosystem will be affected in its entirety. Ecosystem is made up of two components, which are the biotic and abiotic components. The biotic components of an ecosystem are the living components of an ecosystem, like plants and animals, etc., while the abiotic components of an environment are the non living or physical components of the environment, like soil, rocks, minerals, water bodies, etc. There are two main types of ecosystem, natural and artificial ecosystems. The natural ecosystems are naturally existent and completely independent of other ecosystems. They depend on natural sources of food and energy, including solar energy, water bodies, etc. Artificial ecosystems are man-made and dependent on other ecosystems and depend on both natural and artificial sources of energy. Biome Level A biome is a set of ecosystems, sharing similar characteristics with their abiotic factors, adapted to their environments. No two biomes are exactly the same. The climate decides where the edges of each biome are, and how many plants and animals live in each one. The most important parts of climate are temperature and rainfall. Biomes include the savanna, tundra, boreal forests, grasslands, deserts, tropical rainforests, tropical deciduous forests, and temperate forests, etc. Biosphere level Biosphere is made up of all the land biomes and water systems on Earth. The biosphere includes most of the Earth's surface, as well as a part of the atmosphere and oceans. In other words, the biosphere includes all living things and their environments as a whole. So, the biosphere is made up of the atmosphere, the lithosphere, and the hydrosphere. Biosphere is also called the zone of life on Earth. Here is the summary of level of organization. Subatomic particles organized into atoms, similar atoms combine to form elements, and that form molecules. Molecules will form organelles, that organized into cells. Similar cells arranged into tissues. Different tissues form organs, and arranged into organ system. Different organ system will form individual. Individuals lead to population. Different population form communities. Communities interacts with non-living things and form ecosystem, and that with similar climatic conditions form biomes, that lead to biosphere. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And, support us. Like, share, and subscribe our channel, S, K, W. We will try our best, to give simple and effective educational information, via the use of the best animation.